Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel The Light of Grace and this is Grace. It's time for another Monday job life reading and this will be for the month of May 2023. We're already in May. <laughs> so anyway, <sighs> yes Gemini, my Gemini subscriber, first of all I want to say thank you for your continued support. Um, I would, I'm so greatly appreciated for not unsubscribing yet. <laughs> and for my new viewers here i'm hoping that there's something about this reading that might resonate with you and if it does please like share and subscribe and hit the bell button so you can be notified of any new readings that i have for you this is a general reading not everything here might resonate take what resonate drop that's not it's for others to hear and i do not sugarcoat i say it as i see it and as i feel it okay so this is a reading money reading Gemini no job Gemini with job reading Gemini no job reading and life reading and these are the gifts that the divine and the universe is gifting you this May 2023 which I'll be doing towards the end okay before anything else I want to cleanse your energy my energy and the energy of this space so adjust the volume of your phone I would greatly appreciate it thank you Thank you. So let's start with money. What's coming your way when it comes to money? And I can hold on one second. Let me just. The cord is in the way. All right. Okay. What's coming your way when it comes to money? My dear Gemini, you have the 10 of water ten of cups beautiful clarified by the queen of pentacles in reverse the three of swords the knight of cups advice guidance and messages from the divine in the universe you have the never-ending story adjustments are required and the eight of wands in reverse well obviously the ten of cups or the ten of water is a beautiful energy but before i talk about this ten of water let's talk about this three of swords and the queen of pentacles and the never-ending story and this eight of wands so for you gemini collective my gemini collectives and my new viewers when it comes to money there hasn't been a lot of movements or increase in your finance not a lot of profits or you know savings that you're able to save to to get to where you want it to be okay to get to where you want it to be and you and it's maybe a lot of things too is going on in your life that somehow you have to pay this pay that spend here spend that and uh, worries worries that it's really um stressing you out okay obviously this never-ending story is a drama so there's got to be some sort of a drama that's affecting your financial situation and you're not happy about it having having the three of swords in here for sure with the queen of pentacles here is financially you're kind of in a situation that you are not so proud about or you're not happy or not satisfied okay there is a little bit of a halt when it comes to uh, having some financial about abundance there is a little halt having the eight of ones in here and maybe this is something that um I don't know there's something holding you something something holding you to be abundant to be 
to have some movement or financial increase okay there's something that's holding you with this eight of wands here it's either maybe you're waiting for some sort of a news or some sort of an answer because this eight of because this eight of wands is an indication of news or change you're waiting for change or you're waiting for some sort of answers and you're not getting the answers or you're not getting the change that you're wanting in order to push forward or move forward this financial stagnancy that's happening in your life that is not making you happy or something that's happened that's breaking your heart is stressing you out it's making you upset and it's just because probably there's no movement in your finance okay it's stressing you out it's causing some drama in your life now with these adjustments are required i feel that there is something here that you're doing that is not causing things to move forward this is maybe the way you think it's the way you manage things the way you analyze your situation there is something that you're doing that needs a little bit of adjustment that is to help you to ease the discomfort to ease the drama or to even move this forward okay there is something that needs to be done and it all varies depending on the situation that you are in because there's so many of you and so um i try to apply it to how it fits to your situation okay that's the advice and the advice here is to not stress out too much and maybe that's one adjustment that you need to do here okay not to stress too much not to worry too much to continue moving forward here okay despite that maybe there's some stagnancy continue doing what you're best at doing so it's not gonna it keeps you busy okay it keeps your mind busy instead of sitting around and thinking about this financial issue maybe you need to go out a little bit more maybe hang out with your friends hang out with your family hang out with somebody that, that makes you happy just to kind of take your mind off from the problems that you're facing when it comes to money and i'm about and i'm about to cough <coughs> hold on now this stand of water is a beautiful beautiful energy this is buddha <laughs> i don't know i think it's buddha <laughs> anyway rub the belly guys okay guys put your finger in this belly and rub it make a wish make a wish rub the belly rub the belly make a wish okay this stand of water is the energy coming your way really seriously this is a beautiful energy this is an abundant um blessings and graces and it's just you're going to be so emotionally happy there is something that's going to come your way and i think you're not seeing it coming you are not seeing it coming this could be an assistance this could be some support financial support this could be some epiphany this could be some something that's gonna push you forward that's gonna take you and get you off from being stuck okay and that's gonna make you happy or this is just a beautiful news that you're not expecting who knows you might inherit a house or you might inherit some money or you might hear something like uh, uh, an increase in at your work maybe you're going to be hearing some uh, i don't know something something because this eight of wands if it's a pride this is a pride this is a good news unexpected news unexpected change and so i think that's what you're not you're not expecting because you've been stagnant for a while with your finance no movement no changes and now all of a sudden bam kaboom there you are there's the blessings i don't know this is i don't know how it's gonna arrive into your life but hey i'll take it i'll claim it right mm -hmm. let's go to gemini with job what's coming your way you have the messenger of water Clarify by the six of wands in reverse. Ten of cups. Ace of cups. You have a lot of water energy coming your way, Gemini. This may. Four of cups in reverse. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine in the universe. Four. Nah. 
transport. Fork in the road. The end of a tough cycle approaches. And the four of wands in reverse. With this four of wands in reverse, the six of wands in reverse, and the four of cups. Oh, no, no, let's just put this, this two here. Six of wands in reverse and the four of wands in reverse. As far as your work, it hasn't been really successful. It hasn't been running smooth. Everything is in chaos or in drama or some aspect of, or some aspect of your job is not working well. You're not feeling good about it. There's frustration. You feel like you're you're not doing a good job with that that's why things are not balanced not secure not not to its right places however that is some something's going on at work that you're not feeling victorious about it okay something and this cycle is really tough for you okay it's really tough for you um but with this ace of cups you love your job i mean it seems like you're happy with this job. It seems like everything is working well for you. When you're in a good position, when you could, when you're in the right time, right time, when there's there's some good moments at work that you're really happy. You're getting along with your coworker. You know everything's stable, jolly, happy. I don't know how it, it seems like. Yeah, it, it, you love your work. You love your work, no doubt about it. You have your hearts on your work. You're happy. With your work but for some reason lately there is this energy of an dissatisfaction here and and it feels like you're just kind of affected by this non-successful disappointments or depression or angry even to whatever this thing that is not working well for you at work okay maybe there's a person that you don't get along maybe there's a person that made you mad maybe there's a project that is not going well Whatever this is, it seems like you're focused on this problem, okay? So you're not in a happy, jolly mood this time. But having this in reverse, it feels like you're going to get out of this situation. And you're going to be coming back to a better energy. The reason why I said is that because you have the messenger of water. This is the Knight of Cups, okay? There is this energy of looking into a change again, looking into it. And I think... Um, this is about refocusing and I and I feel like it's about refocusing because you love your job yeah but there's a specific situation in your job that is really taking that happiness out of you and so there is this um, refocusing that needs to be done and I think to get there is you have to make a decision here it's like okay well this project or this something that is not going well I'm not happy about it because maybe you're used to being successful. Maybe you're always happy in your work and you're not used to being sad or disappointed or angry about a specific project or workload or with a fellow co-workers or boss. You're not used to it. So the divine and the universe is saying, hey, you might you have to make a decision. You want to just sit into this uncomfortable, unhappy situation that you're in or, or you, you have to pick another road and say okay i'm gonna take this one i have to deal with this one i i have to fix this problem that i'm dealing with and then things is gonna go happy and jolly again but i think you're gonna be making decision you're gonna be making decision and refocusing your mind and your emotion to a direction that's gonna bring you back to being happy again to bring to give you to bring you back to being stable and secure at your work Yes, and it seems like you're good at it because you're good at your work. You love your work. And sometimes when you love your work, you're so good at what you're doing because you give your heart to it. And with the end of a tough cycle approaches, this is just saying to you, my dear Gemini, that whatever hardship that you're going through at this point in time at work is going to come to an end. And you, but I think there is a need for you to make a decision first, okay? But whatever decision you're going to be doing, it feels like it's going to lead you to ending this tough cycle because you're going to be making them the right decision, the right, you're going to be in the right mindset to make that right decision, to be, to bring you back to your happiness, 
to bring you back to your jolly, happy self again. And I think you can do it, okay? Okay. Let's go to Gemini No Job. What's coming your way, Gemini No Job? You have the strength. Clarify by the Seven of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Four of Swords in reverse. The Six of Cups in reverse. Advice, guidance, and messages from the Divine in the Universe. You have the time for a nap. You and your loved ones are safe. And the Five of Cups in reverse. You have five here and another five. Just have that in mind, okay? And you have the four and the five and the six too. So progression. Mm. The strand is a very beautiful energy coming your way for my Gemini with no job, okay? But I want to talk about this energy that's sitting here, okay? Gemini, no job. I can tell that you have put your time to finding a job. You really invest some time to finding a job you give your best you you nurture that idea by doing something to find a job having the seven of pentacles in here and now you're in the waiting period you you are in the waiting period and it feels like it's causing you stress because you're not hearing anything you haven't heard from those people that you you applied or maybe you're not seeing any changes yet into whatever effort you put in in finding a job okay Emotionally, you're not happy, you're not satisfied, you're not contented, okay? And it just feels like it's affecting your family too because I see the word uh, loved ones in here and with the Six of Cups here in the verse, I do feel that it's affecting the dynamic at, uh, at home and you feel, I mean, financial tightness, financial lack, or that feeling like does affect the people you love because you want to you know want to support them you want to give them whatever they you can in order to make them to see their happy to see their smile and to really support them but if you're not married or not living with anybody at home this is just saying that you're not fully happy where you are in your life right now because you don't have the job it's so hard to live by yourself with no financial support for sure and so there's a little bit of a frustration about that because because you really want to find a job okay it seems like you put time and you feel exhausted about it and 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 with this you and your loved ones are safe this is just to let you know that Either you are with, with some family members at home or friends that you live with that you're helping and or you're by yourself. It does not matter. God is watching over you. God is watching over your family. You are you are being protected. So don't worry about that. You are safe. You and your family are safe or you are self safe at this time. But yes, you don't have the financial security that you need or support that you need in order to, to live a life. Okay, in order to live a life. Now, there's something about this strength. And this strength is, I think, more of giving you the energy of confidence. Giving you the energy of strength that you need to keep pushing forward to not give up. And I think that effort is going to be responded by the universe. The universe is going to do something about it. Okay? I feel that whatever that you have a hard time taming something before in your life and that, that you're trying to tame job you're trying to catch the job but it feels like your hand is on this line and i feel this is a job it feels like with your determination with your courage and not giving up and still have the control of your life despite of what's happening in your life and feeling lack it feels like you are close to taming this opportunity Okay, or you're going to be able to tame this opportunity, this may, because what happened is the five of pentacles in reverse. 
and the five of cups is in reverse it feels like it's gonna be lifting you from feeling poor for feeling lack and from feeling unhappy and dissatisfied and regret it seems like whatever this strength that's gonna come into your life and it could come in so many ways it could be a support from people it could be an actual job it could be you having to bring back the strength that you have and determination and confidence it's gonna pull you from the feeling from the from you feeling lack and from you feeling depressed and unhappy okay as far as advice that divine and the universe is saying maybe it's time for you to take a little break here you are focusing your mind so much to this idea of finding job that you are forgetting about yourself that you are stressing so much and maybe you're getting headache maybe um mm, it's just draining you so the universe is saying take a little break take some more sleep take some more nap maybe it's time for you to relax just relax it's not so bad to have a little couple of days of relaxing and doing nothing and not worry about this you need a break and then you can go back to figuring things out okay all right now for life reading gemini what's coming your way you have the four of earth Seven of Wands in reverse as a clarifying card. Page of Cups in reverse. Death in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse. The Chariot. The Fool. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have new life. What you need to release. The last one, the five of wands. Okay, one second. There's so many water energy here. The Page of Cups in Reverse. The Two of Cups in Reverse. Having the Two of Cups here and the Page of Cups, this got to be some sort of a connection or a relationship, okay? And having the death in here, it seems like it's, um, there's two ways I can see it. Some, a relationship that ended or a relationship that is no longer happy and working but is still there as a relationship despite of the struggle despite of the conflict it's still uh, a relationship that you haven't actually left or that you're still in it and the other one is a relationship that ended okay and this relationship can be anything it could be a business partner it could be an actual real girlfriend boyfriend relationship it could be a husband and wife something like that it's got to do with relationship it could be friendship too whatever right so whatever situation that you're in it seems like it it's a struggle there's a, there's a fight here there is this connection there is this pride uh, um, being ego struggle between the two of you or between this person that you have some sort of disconnection Either you're still with that person or no longer with that person. And the seven of wands in here in reverse, it feels like you're already not fighting for this relationship. If you are 
still with the relationship or not you're no longer fighting you have given up on it. it this is like you feel like it's no longer a fight that you have to put in this is something that no I'm, I'm not going to do it anymore i'm so exhausted from this conflict from this drama and i just i'm i'm done i'm not gonna fight if you could be still in the relationship but you're no longer arguing with them it seems like you just zip your mouth and not say anything and it feels like you're still in it but you haven't breaking up you haven't separated yourself from this person okay despite of the situation the other energy is that because of this argument and this fight and not being on the same page with this person that you have a relationship with maybe the love is not there anymore maybe you're not happy with that relationship or vice versa you just kind of like say i'm not fighting for this job uh, this job i mean this relationship anymore i'm gonna end this okay and that's that's why that is here and this could probably happen recently okay my eyes are itchy one second i have to put some eye drop on my eyes because they're so itchy okay where was i where was i yes breakup okay For some of you who already have separated yourself from this person or this, yeah, from this person that, you, that somehow is just not working well, it seems like you did actually took a, you, you took a leap of faith on this one with the fool. You decided, okay, I'm going to leave this relationship because it's no longer for my eyes good. I'm not happy about this anymore. I'm not, I can't, I can't let this be my life, you know. That is something that maybe you need to release here. You need to release this person. You need to release this situation. You need to release this, this taxing energy, this toxic energy that you've been sitting on for a while. And so you are moving forward. You decided that you're just going to leave this relationship and move forward in your life and find something that it's, it's for you, that it's, that is going to go well for you. This is, this relationship with this chariot here is telling me that you have learned a lot about yourself you have learned about life you have learned about people and you're taking it with you you learn something and it it made it, it made you stronger that's why you're able to leave this situation it gave you the courage to move forward okay for some of you um it hasn't happened yet for some of you who's still in this relationship, who has a hard time leaving this relationship, who has who doesn't have the power and the energy or the strength to actually get yourself out of this, despite that you are no longer happy with this person. Now the universe is saying you need to release. You need to release what is no longer for your high school you need to release the things that's not making you happy which is this conflict that you're having with this person the love might not be there anymore maybe maybe even the respect is not there anymore there's nothing there's no more gas to this car to push forward to to get to places so this is the time when you have to abandon the car to go to do something better, to explore something better, to make you that, that that's gonna make you happy. Now, if you're close to the gas station, then buy some gas, put in your car, and then travel forward without that energy of heaviness, the negativity. Whatever thing that you have in your car that is no longer good for you, old clothing, maybe even a person, maybe maybe leave the person that you're in the car with that's giving you toxic energy. This is just an analogy, okay? Maybe then you can understand what I'm trying to say. And then now when you gas, when the gas is there, then drive away and leave the person. You know, give them money. Give them some something. Find, get them an Uber or something like that. And tell them, hey, bye, good luck. How are you? Have, I mean, good, bye, good luck. Have a nice life. And then move forward. Find your happiness again. Now... This release that you're doing 
for the first energy the one that already have broken up with this person and find themselves free again to move forward they're gonna feel new they feel like they've been given a new lease in life to find their happiness to find life that is worth living that is worth spending sport it is that is worth investing okay and and for the one that hasn't broken up with this person or separated from this person just letting you know that if you do the action if you release this person in your life this toxic energy or even it doesn't have to be a relationship it could be a situation then release it release just drop it trust the universe just leave it all to god and say god you know i cannot handle this person anymore i'm leaving this person i am moving forward or i'm leaving my this problem that i'm in i'm done i've given up i'll give it to you i don't want to deal with it anymore i'm releasing myself from the bondage that i have with this person or this situation that's this release that i'm saying now by doing so you are kind of pushing your energy into having a new life a new perspective a new way of feeling a new way of release it's the freedom that is what this girl is feeling she's stretching and like wow it's like oh my god i can stretch i'm not limited i am free i can do things now i feel like you have gained that right for yourself that you can expand that you can stretch that you can be happy that you can do anything that you have your hearts on with no conflicts with no drama so now talking about this four of earth as the energy coming your way into your life this is letting you know that you are not embracing this energies of tightness limitation as the four pentacles usually an indication is a control it's it's about um handling life right it could be money too you know that maybe you're putting your hands on your money so tight and maybe that's not the great thing or maybe for people who hasn't broken up they're thinking that if they hold on tight and things gonna change right or if this uh this person who already have if you already separated yourself from this this is a way of saying that you are not that you have the freedom to open up yourself to release yourself from this whatever energy that you are resonating these four pentacles from this card from this deck it has a different um uh depiction this here is not no longer controlling the things that is not for your highest good anything material that does not make you happy you are embracing change you are embracing because she's she has the moth on top of her hand but she's not holding it she is entrusting to the change she's entrusting herself to the universe that whatever it is that they that she has no control of it that thing is gonna happen because it's gonna happen because it's meant to happen this is feeling less uptight this is feeling less reserved this is feeling less controlling this is about you just opening your heart and just let it be as this full energy in this chart is giving you this is about just going and driving and just follow wherever your heart's desire you know follow wherever you feel like it's right for you that is the energy of this and that is a beautiful energy to receive and to embody and i'm so proud of the first group who actually let themselves out of this relationship who, who broke up with this person that's toxic and for the one that is still there i'm not saying i'm not proud of you proud of you but i'm letting you know that you can do this you can do this if other gemini's have done it or did it that you can also do it you can 
do it because I can see that you can because there is this new life ahead of you that you can there's a new life ahead of you that there is a way out of this okay that there is an answer to your problem so claim it claim this energy claim this energy of four of pentacles that has more freedom to do the things that you would well deserve you have the ten of water the messenger of water the strength and the four of pentacles here this may is the month for you to be to be strong or is asking you to be strong in any aspect of your life this is also the month for you to take to take out that control instead to release the wheel and let the universe drive you and take you to where you're supposed to be that's going to lead you to your full your full happiness emotional happiness trust the universe and the divine trust yourself that you can do this that you can trust that you can find your happiness in life in whatever aspect that might be that you're gonna find the emotional fulfillment trust and believe and have the determination to keep pushing forward till you get there you can do this gemini you can you'd be surprised gift that you're going to be receiving this may 2023 end of tough cycle this is what i'm saying whatever situation that you're in you're going to be able to pull yourself out of it you can it will end but i think it's going to require for you to be strong strong enough to leave it behind strong enough to leave it problem solve way whoa 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 that is the good news end of tough cycle and problem solve hey claim it my dear gemini appreciation the divine and the universe is appreciating you for having the courage and the strength to do this to do to get yourself out of this and when a person able to get out of a bad situation it's about strengthening your spirituality and it's also elevating your energy to a higher level of vibration and also this appreciation is here to also let you know that you need to appreciate yourself for being the strong person that you are and if you haven't gotten there that strong side of you the universe is saying god is saying that it start to appreciate that part of you because you carry it you have it we all have it it's just a matter of realizing it and empowering it and embracing it true love true love true love maybe some of you you're gonna find your true love this may maybe some of you you're just gonna feel good about yourself and you're gonna start loving yourself and you're gonna start appreciating yourself more than ever you can be falling in love with yourself i felt it and it's so good you know loving yourself but it's also for some people it could be your you're gonna fall in love with somebody or you're gonna find some true love sometime this may so take how it resonates to your situation okay this is your reading my dear gemini i thank you so much i'm sending you lots of love and light bye bye